and welcome back to some more Gundam Online. You can see double 80 with me, Polar Dash. Uh, we are still in Francesco's area with Polar. Uh, you know, in the last game, we got our uh, asses handed by uh, by uh, rockets that deal way damage, and uh, Alex's that can fly way far, and uh, PP with their risk outline. Um, next game. Next game, I'm hoping will be. Uh, I, I, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm hoping it'll be uh, Dolan's Island. Since uh, I think the only time I was able to showcase that map was when I was when I was messing around with the uh, the herder boo, and uh, maybe I'll be able to play in it without. Uh, they're pulling out on a suit that sinks in the water. <laughs> Since Dolan's Island is in the rotation. And uh, a couple games I played uh, that I've gotten uh, rolled Dolan's Island, I've had some fun. Uh, especially with the uh, the amphibious suits that I have. The amphibious suit. The single amphibious suit that I have. The, the Zagaku. I have the, uh, the Zaku Marine type, but I mean, heavy classes don't really fit well in Dolan's Island. You need to be able to move fast. Yeah, I'm hoping for that. What other challenges do I have to do? I gotta get seven more assists, and I need to win two more times. That's not happening. So I, I also I think uh, this setup was a poor one. This deck was a poor choice for California base last game. Should have brought in some heavies. I I noticed that um, like my button presses. Were, uh, I was put pressing buttons as if I was uh, trying to do heavy maneuvers. Like I was hitting my, uh, my, my key for the middle weapon uh, for the, the cannon. Because I, I think on California base I heavy more than assault. There we go, Dolan's Island, sweet. Um, so I'm on Dolan's... I haven't gotten. Damn, I haven't played with the Zaku Dukai yet. I need to get on that. The Zaku Dukai actually might have been able to do stuff last game, since the Alex was all in our face and everything. And I didn't get to kick a single damn thing. I, I'm still really sour about that uh, encounter with the Dom and the, you know, the Sharzaku, and how I mispressed buttons and I couldn't pull the kick off. Anyway, Zagak. You're in. Um, the goof costume is pretty good here. So I'll keep the Zuck to F. Shardzak is not good here. I don't have a huge selection of assaults, it's a big front. So, you know, maybe I will go with the, the, the Zuck Marine. I don't really play with it very often. Captured suit. I'm. Uh, I've selected. I've been selecting the power GM because it, it was rolled awesome stats. But I don't really like the power GM. So maybe I will just go with what I go out and most and just go with first production GM. What is our enemy force looking like? Average. Okay. This might be an even game, who knows. Um, for Dolan's Island, uh, recently it's been two bases usually get destroyed in the first run, and then the game goes on until the until one of the war gauges are depleted. That's how most games go, but... Uh, I don't know, it's like the only way I can describe Dolan's Island. So a uh, game of Dolan's Island never lasts 20 minutes. Right, I don't have a... I'll go with the, the good custom. 
in uh, Shangri-La server, where I have the ninja robot, uh, I've been uh, deploying out on the ninja robot uh, first, and then defending base with its sword. Had a lot of success with that, getting lots of kills. And again, since I'm not as fast as a camper, I don't attack base. I'm just gonna go grab that uh, point five and then warp back and defend the base. And I'm just better at defending base. I mean, I'd rather do something that I'm better at instead of the opposite. There are only a few maps where I can run base successfully. I think New York is one. And using the word uh, successfully is, is uh, oops, that's what I'm trying to say. It's a far cry, I think. Like I'll, I'll have better odds of getting to an enemy base on uh, New York than other maps. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! die from my sword after I whacked it too many count times to count with my fingers. I can count up to three. And the game ended already. Yay! <laughs> ah, this game. So I was one and one there. One kill, one death. So well, that was a minute and a half. A minute and a half game. I don't know, I guess I, I, mean, I, I don't need to say anything. <laughs> this this just speaks for itself, what's been going on in this game. It's just, it's just that. Um, and um, it's between a mix of games like that, games like California Base. And I can't even remember what, what map I played before that. Oh, Rebo Colony. Right. Or Rebo Colony. It's like... We win fast, or we die slowly, or we die painfully, or a mixture of both. Um, but I think when when Zeon wins, they win like that. You know, another finger snap that I can't do within a finger snap, um, thanks to the campers and. Uh, Really depends on how evenly they're spread out amongst the three bases that are that are marked to be destroyed. Uh, and uh, Zeon wins through that, or if the team is unbalanced uh, in Zeon's favor. I think Zeon is currently winning. They they had more wins this week, yeah, by a percent, oh, by two percent almost. And that's because of of uh, games like that, uh, where Xeon wins instantaneously. And I suppose, like, if you do, I mean, if you think about it, since Xeon, the games that they win, they win instantly, and the Federation takes slightly longer than that to win their games. Somehow, to me, that feels like. Zeon can get in more wins than the Federation. There might be some like crazy algebraic equation that can prove what I'm trying to say, but 
I can only say, you know, I can only... Uh, you know, uh, describe it with, with just gut feeling. Um, that because Zion wins their games fast and the other federation doesn't. Zion can get in more wins. And also, and also the fact that um, those rush maps are pretty much favored toward Xeon, uh, even though Xeon, uh, you know, lacks the ability to combat Federation mobile suits. We're still winning a slightly larger portion of the games because the games that that Xeon wins don't involve mobile suit to mobile suit combat. It just involves lots of campfires rushing base and destroying them. Um, and uh, me and many other uh, players of Gundam Online basically think that the dev team are. They're doing this on purpose to, uh, like, uh, they're selecting uh, maps in the map rotation to include maps like Dylan's Island and, uh, you no know, rush maps where Xeon can win to keep this balanced, to keep this bar even, to make it look like their game is working when it's not. Um, so they're, like, going around the issue, you know, of, of a, uh, of balancing their game by just looking at this thing. And trying to balance this instead of like uh, getting their hands dirty and uh, uh, picking through all the mo mobile suits uh, and uh, balancing the game through them. You know, instead they're just doing it the easy way by uh, right making a lineup of maps. that will uh, give a generally an even number of wins for both sides. It's annoying, the way they're doing that. And, uh, you know, yeah, things might change with the, the, that next big update I talked about, the December update. But I'm having my doubts, and many other people are too. Uh, I think this next up that update that they're talking about is going to determine if this game's going to sink or not. If that ne if the next update ten ends up flopping, then I don't think this game's gonna last long after that. It'll just tell the players that the dev team are uh, I don't know, are are not up to the task, and uh, I don't know. I got this this playlist might end around December. Who knows? Guess um. Stay tuned long enough to find out. Um, but as for this recording, I'm done. Uh, next, next game. Next game. I can only pray that it won't be another rush map, or rush game, or a slow death map, but something in between. Okay. See you then. Bye.